Hello everyone, it's Gary here, and welcome to another live uh, event here with, with uh, Vegas Creative Software. Um, I don't really have uh, much to show you today, but I do have a couple of uh, interesting announcements that uh, I hope that you will um, be excited about, as we are excited about those. Um, just looking over here at my screen just to make sure that everything is working properly, looks like it is. Um, First, I just wanted to give you a quick update on Vegas Creative Software and uh, where we're at today. We've been working hard, uh, as you probably already know, about Vegas, uh, on uh, Vegas Pro and um, have some uh, announcements to make here today. Uh, the team's doing well um, as far as the uh, coronavirus and all of that goes. Uh, we haven't been uh, affected too um, badly here. Nobody has gotten sick, thankfully, uh, in our office. Uh, we are still on lockdown, uh, unfortunately, here in the United States. Uh, we haven't reacted quite as well to the whole uh, pandemic as, uh, they, as some of you have in other countries of the world. Um, but people seem to be taking it more seriously here now, at least where we live uh, in Madison. Uh, here in Dane County, uh, everybody's wearing masks, everybody's taking this seriously. Well, I shouldn't say everybody, most people are, um, but it's still a challenge for us. So uh, our team is still working remote. Um, I am uh, in the office. Uh, you might be able to see behind me, Bruce is uh, in the office, but it's just the two of us um, right now, uh, and we're being very careful uh, to wear our masks when we're in common areas or uh, when we need to speak to each other and so forth. Um, it's hard to say how long this is going to continue uh, with us being in lockdown here, uh, but for the time being at least, that's, uh, that's where we're at. Um, that said, fortunately, we've, uh, we work in an industry where we're able to continue to work, uh, do our work from our respective homes. So all of our developers, all of our QA, um, well, not all of our QA, Bruce is here, as I just mentioned. Um, some of our QA staff, uh, our customer service staff, um, everybody's gone home to work from there. But, uh, you know, interestingly or thankfully, we've been able to carry on and um, haven't really seen any uh, negative impact as far as getting the work done. Um, I certainly hope that uh, you are all healthy and that wherever you are, uh, you're coming out of this pandemic a little bit uh, uh, better and that uh, things will get back to normal soon, whatever the new normal uh, <laughs> ends up being. Um, but let's move on beyond, beyond that and let's talk a little bit about what I'm here to uh, tell you today. And that is that we have a couple of really exciting uh, product releases coming up. You probably already seen, many of you have seen the uh, pre-release pre announcement that Vegas Pro 18 is coming out soon. In fact, a week from today, I'll be sitting here talking about Vegas Pro 18. It will already have been released um, and uh, I'll go over um, all of the new features for you. It'll be a pretty high level overview of what's new, um, but uh, we'll tune in next week at the same time. That's uh, 11 o'clock where I am. It's UTC minus five uh, for those of you who are not in the central time zone here. And I'll um, go over Vegas Pro 18, some of the new features and um, mention, try to mention all of the new features, although there are a ton of them. Uh, so it's going to be a little difficult to go through all of them. Um, I can't tell you too much about it today because we haven't announced very much, although I, I can mention that we um, I can mention a few of the, the uh, features that we have already announced, uh, including if you're familiar with the uh, changes and improvements we made to the plugin windows, the video effects windows, the transitions windows, and so forth in Vegas Movie Studio 17. We've brought all of that work over to Vegas Pro 18 and enhanced it a little bit more to make it all even um, a nicer experience when you're working with your plugins, um, your transitions, and, and video effects, and so on. Um, I will spend a little time, uh, I hope I'll have a little time to spend on that next week and show you uh, a little bit of the uh, search functionality and just how we've organized things just to make working with your plugins so much easier. If you've worked with them in Vegas Movie Studio 17, you already know what a huge difference uh, it makes with the new approach that we've taken. 
and we're now bringing that to Vegas Pro 18. Um, we have a couple of um, new features that are built off of artificial intelligence. These are our first step into the artificial intelligence world, and we use these features to build a really solid core of um, uh, AI technology into Vegas Pro, and we're looking forward to a lot more in the future, but for Vegas Pro 18, we have a couple of nice um, new features. One of them is a colorization feature, so if you're working with old footage, uh, you'll be able to colorize that with essentially a click of a button um, and then do a little bit of tweaking with it. And we've also got a stylizer that's based off of artificial intelligence, and that stylizer will enable you to apply the look of um, famous paintings or uh, the signature look of a famous artist to your video. So if you want to, to make it look like your video was painted by Van Gogh, then you can choose that from the list and uh, we'll immediately apply the style of um, the Van Gogh painting to uh, your video. And it's, it's, it's pretty fun and it's pretty cool, so look forward to that. Um, we've made some improvements to the color grading panel um, that we introduced uh, in Vegas Pro 17, uh, including um, a new uh, exposure tool, which is modeled more on the uh, logarithmic behavior of a camera exposure tool. So if you want to get really camera-like exposure added to your videos, you can use the new exposure tool in the, in the color grading panel. Uh, the biggest news about the color grading panel is that we've made it a dockable window now. So it can actually have three states. It can be pinned to the area where it um, exists in Vegas Pro 17 at the bottom of the timeline. But you can unpin it and you can float it anywhere on your screen, take it to your other monitor. I have another monitor here so I can drag it off to that monitor. Or you can dock it just like you can any other dockable window. Um, so that brings the flexibility of the color grading panel and the power of the color grading panel. Um, it brings to that, sorry, it brings to the color grading panel the flexibility of other windows where you can set your user interface up exactly how it works for you. Docked, floating, floating docks, or pinned to the bottom however you want to use it. That's how you can use it. So um, look forward to seeing more about the uh, color grading panel next week as well. And the final feature that we've already announced is that we've uh, really enhanced the motion tracking tool in Vegas Pro. Um, we introduced motion tracking a couple of versions ago, uh, but we were never, we, we wanted to get it uh, into your hands, but we knew that we hadn't delivered it in the way we really wanted to deliver it. Uh, and it was, currently it's buried in the uh, Bezier masking plugin and you have to kind of know where it is and you have to kind of know to get to it. Uh, we've made that so much easier now. We've got a dedicated motion tracking panel. Uh, you can launch that uh, panel right from any event on your timeline, create your, uh, your uh, motion tracking mask, and track forward or backward. Uh, it's just much easier to use and much more intuitive. It just makes, uh, it just makes a lot more sense now. So those are the, the features in Vegas Pro 18 that I can talk about uh, today. And um, again, I will be here live again next week uh, at the same time uh, next Monday to talk in more detail about those and other features. Uh, in general, though, I, I, I will say that what we've done with Vegas Pro 18, we've, we've been listening <laughs> and we always try to listen. But one of the things that we keep hearing is... Um, I like the new features. I like when you release new features, but I also want you to spend some time working on the old features and making them feel better and making them work better. So as you just heard, as, as I just mentioned with a couple of the features, that's what we did. We spent some of the time, instead of making all new features, we spent some of the time improving the features that are there. Uh, and we actually spent quite a bit of time improving already existing features. So you're going to see in Vegas Pro 18 a nice mix of some exciting new features, like the AI stuff that I talked about, uh, and some improved old features. And hopefully that all comes together into a great uh, Vegas Pro 18 package that'll make your life easier and help you work faster. Okay, so that's Vegas Pro 18. It's going to be re released a week from today. 
Now that's not the only thing we're releasing a week from today because many of you are Vegas Post users. And I'm announcing here that we are also releasing a new version of Vegas Post next week, a week from today. And that new version of Vegas Post will include of course, the updated version, version of uh, Vegas Pro 18 that I just talked about, but also upgrade, uh, upgrades to both Vegas FX and Vegas Image. And we have maybe another surprise for you. So Vegas Post will release next Monday and uh, be ready, ready to go. If you are a Vegas Post user, you can uh, upgrade to, to the new version, which we are calling Vegas Post Suite. Uh, and um, if you haven't used Vegas Post before, take a chance to um, uh, download the trial versions and see what it's all about. But we've, we've really improved those tools. We've made the compositing um, and the VFX uh, particle generation work, all that stuff in Vegas VegasFX. There's more of the good thing. In Vegas Image, all of the image editing uh, tools that you've used in the previous version of uh, Vegas Image, those have been enhanced as well. So there's some really nice improvements to both Vegas FX and Vegas Image. When you package that all together with Vegas Pro, and another little surprise that we have for you, then uh, it's, it's, it, it all shapes up to a, a great new version of Vegas Post. And uh, I won't spend too much time talking about Vegas Post next week uh, on the um, announced date because I'll be talking mostly about Vegas Pro 18. But um, we do have a series of upcoming live events just like this one uh, scheduled for the, f the Monday of each week in February. So that's February, sorry, each week of uh, August. Uh, so that's five um, weeks of um, live, live events like this one where I'll talk in more detail next week about Vegas Pro, as I mentioned, and then after that, a couple of weeks of Vegas Post, and then after that, some other things. So. Put it on your calendar, get ready to uh, join me live um, for the next uh, five Mondays after today. It'll be the same time each, each Monday. That's 11 o'clock for me, uh, UTC minus five um, for everyone. And um, yeah, so that's what I wanted to talk about today. I uh, just wanted to hopefully get you excited about the upcoming releases. Um, we're very excited. We're, the team is Heads down, been working like crazy, working really hard. It's, um, it, it, I continue to be amazed at what this team uh, accomplishes when it comes to new, new versions of, of the software. Um, if I, I, I get that for, for users, it just one day it appears. But I can tell you these guys have been working really hard. Uh, we've got an incredible staff of men and women on our development team, on our support team, on our QA team. And um, they have been, <laughs> they've really been hard at it, uh, trying to make this the best version of Vegas Pro yet. And I think they've accomplished it. And you'll see some of that next week. So hopefully you're as excited about it as I am. Um, and hopefully you can join me for the next five weeks for more live training. So until then, I'm going to sign off and wish you all the best uh, health and best luck. And I'll see you next week. Thanks for joining. Bye.